Hey guys, so it's time to do my March glossy unboxing. I was super pumped because I got this box like a week ago, right at the beginning of March. It was earlier than it's ever been, so I was thinking that I was going to be able to get this video out for you really early in the month. But then, I don't know if you can tell, but I totally lost my voice like right around the time when I got this in the mail. and. There was no way that I was filming for you. And even now, listening to myself, it's like, I don't know. I really, really wish that I felt better so that way you wouldn't have to listen to this, like, god-awful, cold-induced voice throughout the whole thing. But, um, we're gonna try it and see how it goes. You might be wondering what this is behind me. I decided that I ran out of uses for most of my glossy boxes because I have about 24 right now. And after filling some with lip gloss and filling some with lipstick and colored pencils and crayons and literally every crafting supply and piece of makeup you can imagine, I still have all of these that are empty. So I decided that when I'm home and filming my glossy unboxing videos or, you know, glossy review videos, I would sit in front of my glossy box wall. So this will be getting bigger very soon and hopefully it'll just continue to grow and be like kind of a cool backdrop for these kind of videos. So without further delay, here is the March Glossy Box. It's not a limited edition but I'm still pretty pumped for it. So here is the project card. As always, I'm going to leave all of the details on this card in the description box in case you guys want to check out the products that are in here. I'm not sure what's in here, but as soon as I opened it, I smell like this really sweet smell, and I really, really like it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing is this I Love Coconut and Cream um, Super Soft Hand Lotion, which definitely explains the smell that I was just talking about. So, um, it's definitely very fragrant because I could smell it even before I had the box completely opened. Um, smooth and rich nourishing hand lotion for hands after cleansing or whenever skin feels dry. Um, pretty straightforward. I'm actually pretty happy how big this hand lotion is. Normally the hand lotions that come in, you know, the monthly subscription boxes are about yay big, so this is like two, three times the regular size. It seriously smells amazing. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say I was on a tropical island because it seriously smells like coconut. Um, it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that, which is nice, but I'll talk more about that in my review video. So, for right now, nice smell, nice feel to it. I like it so far. Um, the next thing is this That's Where I Draw the Line uh, waterproof lash enhancing liquid eyeliner in the color carbon black by Ico London. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm always down to try some of the uh, eyeliner pens instead of like the gels and stuff like that. I'm really big on eyeliner. I wear it every day. Um, so this will be a fun product to try. I've never heard this brand before, so we'll have to see. Alright, the next thing is a really beautiful um, Luxie angled brush. Um, although I don't personally have brushes from this company, I've used brushes that my friends own that are from this company and they're all really amazing. Um, all the ones that they had have this really pretty pink candle. They're all very soft and easy to clean, which is an amazing thing you know, for a brush to have. And just like sliding this on my face, it is so ridiculously soft. And I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, I love getting new brushes. I'm always like tempted when I'm in the store to buy new brushes, but then I think, you know, like I'll find a lipstick or something that I'd rather have. So I never buy myself new brushes, like hardly ever. So when I get them in my monthly subscription boxes, I get really excited because I, I like never get new brushes. So this one's awesome. I'm so happy that's in it. Um, it's like, I don't know what size they would consider this. 
Um, this is a large angled face brush and it's number 504. The next thing is one of the things that I heard about. It is one of the Too Faced Melted uh, Liquid Lipsticks, which I'm in love with. I love these so much. The first one I ever got was in the Too Faced um, Christmas in Paris set, I guess. And it was in Melted Peony. It wasn't my favorite color, but I loved the feeling of the lipstick. Like, it was just such a great formula. I started buying the Melted Chocolate ones. And this one is called Melted Chihuahua. And it's at least the tube is a really, really pretty, like, mauve color. So I'm excited to test this one out. We'll have to see. Um, I wish it was a little bigger, but I definitely didn't expect a full-size one, considering that the full-size are, like, 20-something odd dollars, and they're so popular. Like, I don't know. I think people would have totally freaked out if, they ha if everyone got a full-size one. So the last thing I have in here, um, actually I have two of the same thing. In here, I guess, I don't know, I just got duplicates. Normally that only happens when one of the products is, you know, has a broken case or something. But both of these look fine, so it was probably a mistake. This is the Vine Vera Reservatrol Merlot Moisture Day Cream. Um, laying the foundation of its skincare and the power of Reservatrol's anti-aging effects. So... Uh, Looks like I got lucky because there isn't much in these, so I'm kind of glad that I got two of these so I can kind of test it out a little bit better. Um, doesn't really have a very powerful smell. Doesn't feel greasy, so it'll be nice to test out. Um, you know, I don't really use anti-aging creams that much. I normally use them just under my eyes, but we'll see. So I have the anti-aging day cream. I've got two of those. The uh, Melted Chihuahua Two Faced uh, Liquid Lipstick, the Coconut Hand Cream, the Angled Brush from Luxie, and the Ico London um, Liquid Eyeliner. So I will have a review of these five products up really soon. Um, but before that, I should have my Ipsy and bagging for March. I haven't gotten my Ipsy bag yet, so hopefully that will come soon so I can open that up, try out all the products, and have a video for you guys. Until then, I will see you in my next video.